Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tu tutorial, we are going to see the various operators about boolean and string components or boolean and string variables. So let's start today's session. For boolean operators, we have basically three operators. First is exclamatory mark, second is hyphen O and third is hyphen A. Exclamatory mark, it tells this is a logical negation. This inverts a true condition into false or false condition into true. How to use that? You, you can use rectangle open rectangle bracket, exclamatory mark, false, close rectangular bracket. This condition will turn into true and the vice versa. You can make the true condition into false also hyphen o this is a logical or so if one of the operand is true then the condition become true here the variable a is less than 50 or variable b greater than 70 so this is the or condition between them means if one of variable if variable if variable a is less than 50 or if variable b is greater than 70 then this condition will become true hyphen a this is a logical and if both the operands are true then then and then condition will be satisfied as a true otherwise it will be false example here sample example here if you want to do the practice string operations so there are various string operations such as equal to not equal to hyphen z hyphen n and str equal to checks if the value of the two operands are equal or not if yes then the condition become true not equal to check if the value of two operands are not equal if values are not equal then condition become true otherwise it will become false hyphen z checks if the given string operands size is zero if it is length zero then returns true so if this uh, operator can be used to check if the string is empty or not hyphen n checks if the given string oper operand size is non-zero if the non-zero length then it returns true so to check the length so this is the again the examples about uh, these uh, string operations let's have a demo on this thing so in order to demo demonstrate this we have created two shell files so first shell file that is boolean.sh will tell us the various operators how to use that in the shell for the boolean operations like how to turn the true into false or false into true and what are the string operations we have seen just now we will use that in our demo using string.sh so let's see what we have captured in the boolean.sh as we know if you see here this variable 1 and variable 2 gets the argument values from argument 1 and argument 2 respectively the very first we are checking the exclamatory mark condition that is which will change the condition false condition to true or true condition to false we are using the if loop then if condition we are exclamatory false then making we are making condition as a true if it is not true then it will go into the false condition but looking at this condition this is going to satisfy and going to make true so it will definitely execute condition is a true as an equal statement then we have the or condition check where we are going to check the value in the variable 1 is greater than 50 or value in the variable 2 is greater than 20 then it will print value 1 is greater than 50 or value 2 is greater than 20 if both of the values are less than what are the defined here that means if value 1 is less than 50 or value 2 is less than 10, 20 then it will print the value 1 is less than 50 and value 2 is less than 20 on the same line we have the AND condition check where the value 1 is greater than 50 and value 2 is greater than 20 then and then it will print value 1 is greater than 50 and value 2 is greater than 20 
else it will print the value 1 is less than 20 uh, less than 50 or value 2 is less than 20 so let's have a demo or let's run some example on this so if you remember we have to pass some values we will first pass 50 and second value as 40 so we can see or let me for the clarity I will give the different values it's 100 and 80 so we can say the condition is true it is going to print always because we have coded like that the second or condition we are checking here value 1 is greater than 50 that is definitely true or value 2 is greater than 20 so definitely value 2 also greater than 20 and that is the reason it is printing or in the and condition value 1 is greater than 50 and value 2 is greater than 20 that is also true that is the reason it is printing let's make the second values lower than 20 and let's see what is the output you can see the value 1 is greater than 50 that is the reason the first statement is true because one of the value will be checked and that is the reason it is getting printed or value 2 is greater than 20 even this or condition is not satisfying the second or but the first or condition is satisfying that is the reason it is printing however in the case of the second it is going to check the and condition so both value has to be greater than than defined value if that is not the case then it will go to the else block that is value 1 is less than 50 or value 2 is less than 20 now we'll, what we'll do we'll reduce the value for the first variable also and we'll see now you can see the now it is printing different statement value 1 is less than 50 and value 2 is less than 20 as well that's true condition we can see both the values are less than predefined values value 1 is less than 50 or value 2 is less than 20 so either of this condition has fulfilled that is the reason it is printing the else block and this is the conditional or boolean check we have seen I hope you clear how to use the boolean conditions now we'll see the what we have mentioned in the string operation so in the string we have defined two variable variable 1 and variable 2 variable 1 has uh, it's storing the scalar value technoguru and the val variable 2 holds the training as a state uh, training as a value then we are writing the if statement if variable 1 equal to variable 2 then we are printing variable 1 equal to variable 2 value and we are saying value 1 is equal to value 2 only if that is those are equal else we are printing value 1 value 2 variables are not equal Means these two variables are not equal in the second block in the if condition here we are checking the not if not if variable 1 is not equal to variable 2 then we are checking value 1 is not equal to value 2 and else value 1 is not equal to value 2 and we are printing here as well then we are checking the hyphen z variable so we are here you can see hyphen z variable string length is 0 else hyphen z variable 1 string length is not 0 it check the variable length and it prints that then the hyphen n well variable 1 then it will print hyphen n variable 1 string length is not 0 for checking the length if the length is 0 then it will print hyphen n variable 1 string length is 0 then we have the variable check if variable present then variable is not empty this is very simple check else string is empty so let's this example and we will see how it works in order to run that you have to use sh and string now you can see it print the actual value even we are just specifying variable but we are using the dollar sign before that and it is a, that is the reason it is printing the values techno guru equal to tra training if you are comparing this variable is not equal to variable 2 that's correct techno guru not equal to training variable is not equal to variable 2 that is also getting printed correctly not equal condition hyphen z techno guru string length is not zero that is also correct hyphen n techno guru 
that is length string length is not zero that is also correct and this last one is technoguru string is not empty so it is printing correctly let's do one thing instead of passing the same value a uh, different value will pass the same value and see how it works i am this time i'm going to pass technoguru as a value let's save this and let's see what output will get now this time we'll get technoguru equal to technoguru variable is equal to variable 2 if you are checking not condition variable is equal to variable 2 again it is printing if it is not equal then it should print a not equal and that is the reason this statement is correct hyphen the technology string length is not zero that is correct and hyphen n condition also not zero technoguru string is not empty that is also correct let's make a string as a empty and we are checking for the variable one so that's the reason we have to change the variable one value and let's see so here with this variable one we make as a empty so you can see that output has changed string as such line four unitary operator except expected because the empty strings are not allowed uh, so we can ignore those things but the important thing we have to check this string length hyphen z string length is zero hyphen n string length is uh, this is not correct we should not use this but hyphen c and string check we can use to check the length of the string and this is working fine so, so for today's session that's it so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial tutorial and you learned how to use the string operations also you saw how to use the boolean operations in the unix programming if you have any questions or queries and if you um, would like more videos on the unix tutorial then let me know in the comment section thank you again for watching my video have a nice time